Fur and Ashes Rainbow Bridge Bead. Hi, I'm Nikki Kaminga and today I'm showing you how to make a Fur and Ashes Rainbow Bridge Bead. As usual, I'm using one of the DIY kits available on my website, keepsakersplies.com. There's a link in the description or a link tree in the bio. In the kit, you'll get everything you need to make a basic bead, including the new Over the Rainbow Bridge Bead Core. I'm also using the Vampire Black Resin Sparkle Mix, which will be my background colour, and adding the brand new Green Blue Purple Iridescent Flex. These are my cat Husky's Ashes and Fur. These bead cores are perfect for making yourself or your client a pet memorial bead for their European style bracelet. Leave a comment below if you've tried one of my bead cores before. Making an Ashes and Fur Bead Put a line of UV resin on label backing paper, then place some of the fur on top. Carefully transfer it to the empty bead mould with tweezers or the cocktail stick, then carefully place it in a line around the mould. Be cautious not to poke the mould or it will leave dents in your finished pieces. Fill with clear resin and remove any large air bubbles and make sure that the fur is placed nicely. Fur can be tricky as it encapsulates air bubbles very easily. That's what it's meant to do. Take your time, be kind to yourself that you're learning and don't strive for perfection. You'll do a wonderful job and create something beautiful for yourself or your clients. Once the clear resin is added, take some more time to make sure the fur is placed how you want it. Next, you can add the iridescent flecks on top and poke them in behind the fur. Placement isn't too important and with a black background, you're going to get a lot of visible colour. A little goes a very long way with these new iridescent flecks. Finally, add a bit of the black and the ashes on top of each bead mould. Mix into the clear resin on top. Then use the cocktail stick to push it where you want. I like it to be only around the centre. Then I drag some out to the edges in some places and spokes. This is the beach ball resin technique. If you make a UV resin bead opaque, especially with black, there's a chance the light can't penetrate all the way to the core and the coloured resin might remain liquid inside. Now remove the excess resin from around the top and perhaps squeeze a little more out. The more you take out, the less there is to cut and file away later, but if you take out too much, you might have a gap in the bead and have to fill it or start again. It takes practice to get the perfect amount of resin in a mould. Cure the beads under the UV lamp for 99 seconds on a low heat, then allow them to cool before repeating again twice to make sure they're completely cured. I like to flip them halfway. To finish the bead, remove the excess resin from the pouring spouts with side cutting pliers. I then like to use a carbide burr bit in a rotary tool like a Dremel to remove the excess resin from the top. There's a link to the one I use in the description for sale on keepsakersupplies.com along with everything else I'm using in this tutorial. Give them a rinse and dry them before sending a proof photo to your client. Once you know they're happy with the bead, you can add a bead core. Today I'm using a wooden doming block to stabilise the bead and using a doming punch set to flare the core. You can use the 6mm ball bearing if you don't have a doming punch and rest the bead on a piece of fabric. I have another video showing you how to do this, but the doming punches are much easier to use and give more consistent results. The long core, part A, should show a little above the back washer, part B, so there's some silver to secure the core into place. Work your way up from a 5mm doming punch to a 7mm punch until the core is secure in the bead and doesn't twist. Your bead is finished. Thank you so much for watching my video. Please subscribe and turn on notifications so that you know when I post something new. Of all of my bead cores, which is your favourite? Let me know in the comments. Now, relax and do some crafting.